Occupation is a brand new play and it's set in a small Parisian cabaret. It tells the story of the occupation of Paris during the Second World War through the eyes of the people who run the club, their customers and the occupying German forces. The aim was to take the theatre audience and join them to the cabaret audience, to involve them in the action and to involve them in the events that happened over the whole period of 1939 to the liberation in August 44. And so we've got the music and the songs and the pretty girls of the cabaret and also that sense of humour, a black humour, that comes along when people are going through bad times and they, they have to get by and people do find humour in the situation. And so the play is not um, dreary and dull, it's certainly got humour in it and it's got humorous characters in it. And the music is all correct for the period. They are French songs that were popular at the time. They had Je Tendre as a song which was so popular. It became so popular with the German troops as well because it talked about being alone and waiting for the one's loved ones. And we've also got a song that was written for the end of the war, for the liberation, talking about the red, white and blue of the French tricolour. Of course, I'm very lucky in that the South End Shakespeare Company has got a wealth of good acting talent. And because of the way the play is set in wartime, and the fact that two million French men have been locked up as prisoners of war, I needed more women than men. So I was able to use the many women who we've got in the Shakespeare Company and build roles around them. And at the center of it, there are strong female characters. I've been asked by a number of people what it's going to be like to be seeing my own work, which um, a year or so ago was just an idea in front of a live audience and hearing their reactions in a theatre where I've worked over many, many years. I think it's, um, apart from being terrifying in one way, um, it's going to be very exciting.